everyone we are so excited to be back to traveling but i thought that i would take this opportunity today while we're in between adventures and update you on our five things for 2021 that we do to make life a little bit easier in between adventures during our adventures and like right immediately after our adventures. Number one is what is in this envelope and I'm not gonna share what's actually in the envelope. So what we do is before we leave a house sitter here and you can hear we've got a puppy. So we always have a house sitter while we're out of town overnight. So what we do is we have this envelope set aside. Inside of it is a three by five card. Just in case every now and then when we're gone, our Netflix seems to kick people off. Like it happens when we're here in the house. It'll just kick it off. So what we have done is on the card in here, we have the Wi-Fi name, the Wi-Fi password, our Netflix password, our other login passwords, and whatever we're paying the house sitter goes directly into here. We reuse the three by five card over time and just change the envelope out every time if they take it with the money in here. But that way it gives a designated place where they know where all the Wi-Fi passwords and all that is and their payment for, you know, while they're here. Number two is we updated our information sheets. We try to keep this up to date year to year. I actually discovered while we were doing this that while our emergency contact information, which I have covered up right here, and um, our dog's name didn't change, we did, however, he has some new bedding, and we were able to buy him a new container for his food. So I went ahead and re just typed out everything. I didn't, I've transferred computers and all that since then, the file was gone. I've got it saved the docs now, so I don't have to ever do that again. But I went ahead and updated everything of like exactly where he gets walked, what part of the yard he gets walked in, where his treats and food are stored, where he has to sleep at night, and how he likes to shed or shred paper and sometimes has accidents on the floor if he gets left out of the kennel at night. So he goes in the kennel every night. So there's specific can uh, instructions on that and what to do, what his che favorite chew toy looks like, what his favorite toy is. And then down here, I leave this blank where we will be. And every time right before an adventure, I will fill in the exact location where we're going and then the contact information for that place because our personal contact information is already right here. Again, covered up for our personal privacy. But like we'll leave them like the number of the place we're staying at just in case they can't reach us on one of our devices. So this, again, this is just like a quick cheat sheet. It's just a quick place. And then I usually wouldn't leave it like over our food calendar. I kind of just leave it on a place on the fridge, but I'm kind of have it right here just to show you. But this is something, and again, I also put it in a sheet protector so that if we wanted to, we could put it in a binder. If we ever do like a binder of house sitting rules and stuff and have the Wi-Fi codes in there. But um, we have it taped off so that, you know, it doesn't get dirty inside of it. But we also have it on here so that we can use the sharp, the white or dry erase, which are stored up here. And these are the finer tip ones. So we literally could just come down here and then fill in the information and leave it. And then next time we go, we wipe it off and do it all over again. Number three is that we either cook ahead or we buy make ahead meals, freezer meals to have so that when we immediately get back from a vacation, we don't have to rush to the store right immediately to buy food from when we're back. So, I mean, you can see a couple things in here. We've got some Asian dishes in here, some mini corn dogs that would make good lunches that we can reheat in our air fryer. We have lasagnas. There's also pizzas under there. Any kind of quick make meals like that that would make really good dinner. Also along with that, we try to keep some breakfast items on hand as well. So we have like the shelf stable orange juice here. Slim Jims make a good protein source for Matt for breakfast whenever I can't, you know, send him like yogurts or cold breakfast like that. There's cereal here that the kids could either eat dry or like they could have it. If we end up having like or pick up milk or something like that, we can do that. But also behind the cereal, there's granola and granola they do eat dry. There's also grits. There's, if you see it back there, there's instant oatmeal and we have dried fruit on hand. So we try to cover all the bases and have shelf stable foods available all, at all times. Which another bonus tip for us, we always try to keep tortillas on hand to try to do meals with. I'll do, I will link my video of our emergency pantry stock up in the uh, cards above. And it will also give you some tips of some shelf stable meals that we try to keep on hand all the time. Number four is check all your stuff before you go. So one thing I just found today while the kids are playing outside, I probably can't open this one handed, is that this stick is actually 
almost empty and is actually broken. So while on my list, I had that, oh, hey, I don't need sunscreen because we have purchased sunscreen recently. I just discovered when she wants to play outside that yes, actually, I do need more sunscreen before we go out of the house for our next uh, trip where we're gonna be outside, like hiking or whatnot. So check your products before you go. Make sure like for like with these stick sunscreens for faces that they're not broken or damaged or out of date or that you do actually have everything that you think you have and double check it. Also as a bonus tip, immediately when we get back from vacation, if we finish off while we're gone, say our travel toothpaste or our sunscreen, we will immediately make a list and pack it into our toiletries bag. And usually about a week before a trip, we'll check our toiletries bag to make sure it has everything we need, unless it's like super, you know, urgent trip. And then we just do a trip out, you know, to Walmart on our way out of town. Make sure you make a list on your way back of everything that you used up and that you will need to replace before your next adventure. Number five also refers back to our house sitters. We try to, every single time we go out of town, we try to finish off whatever food we can. Like, you've, you know, we've got some milk and we can put with cereal and let the kids finish off this week before we go out of town. And like we have some syrups and stuff left over from where we did our Star Wars day and made blue and green milk, stuff like that. And, you know, we can't empty, like, everything out, but we can still try to put as much in, you know, one shelf or the other. That way, our house sitters have plenty of shelf space for them to use for their own personal use. Also, as a pro tip, it's kind of like a bonus for really thanking your house sitters on top of paying them. We usually try to check with them and see what their favorite beverage is. Like, one of ours really loves green tea, so we'll buy, like, the green teas because you can get those in sugar-free and not the Arizona ones, and we'll put them in here on the shelf and put four house sitter on them, like, with, you know, tape or something so that they know that those are for them, and it also kind of makes them feel more appreciated and one of ours just like she was so sweet and she loved that we did that for her also as another side note one thing i did like i said you know we've got this blueberry syrup left over from star wars day you know i don't care if they use that while we're gone and i and there's some stuff that i'll make a list and be like hey if you want it would you mind you know finishing these stuff off and when i put it that way it seems more like yes please eat food while you're at my house then hey you know you're kind of invading my space and i don't want people to feel like they're invading my space i want them to feel welcome in my home whether i'm present in my home or not so yeah i'll make a list of like stuff that yes please use this while you're gone please you're doing me a favor by using it and I mean, there's some stuff that, you know, I'll put it, make a list of what I'll need to restock when I get back. But again, this makes them feel just more welcome into your home. So those are our five updated tips for things that you can do before you leave out of town. These are just things that help us. Let us know what helps you below and things that you have for tips. And like I said, a lot of this is just like experience off and on of things that we know our house sitter likes and doesn't like. And we have two different house sitters. They both have different personalities. I, I'll try to do another up video, updated video another time. I didn't cover all of that of everything we do before having a house sitter over. We've done a couple of other videos on that. I'll try to link them either up there or down there. But we hope these tips help you out a lot. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait for you to join us along our adventures as we start traveling again. And we hope to see you next time.